Uh, oh, oh, Mr Chair, we've got um, some statements that have been made by the member resuming his seat that are frankly less than correct. Uh, he's referring to a cabinet paper in my name as Minister of Police and Corrections, and he's referring to the consultation process for this bill and the amendments. And of course, what he's actually commenting on are not comments from my department, as he referred to it, but actually from the Ministry of Justice comment. So of course, we have consultation with Tapuni Kokiri comment. Oh, he could have quoted that. Ministry of Justice comment and Treasury comment and finance implications. So unfortunately, Mr Cosgrove has been caught out yet again not quite being um, correct in what he says. So the last time I looked, the Honourable Minister Powell was the Minister of Justice, not me. I'm the Minister of Police and Corrections. So I'm sorry to have to say that Mr Cosgrove needs to re-read the paper. There's the other point he's talked about, and that's the deterrence factor the deterrence factor in relation to corrections. Now, Mr Cosgrove doesn't like to hear it and he likes to shout out and bellow, but actually I think he should just listen. He talks about how no deterrence assumed, this is the corrections uh, work on this, actually the no deterrence assumed was actually only in relation to the uh, calculations for the bunks or the beds needed for prisons. Now, Mr Cosgrove doesn't like the truth and he likes to call it spin, but no, it's correct. Now, Mr Cosgrove should know better because he used to be a cabinet minister. And it, can't, it wasn't that long ago that he used to have cabinet papers. Now, Mr Hyde says no, but I say, yes, he was. I remember he was, in fact, a cabinet paper. And it's very hard for him, but he's obviously forgotten the whole process around cabinet papers. And he's quite clearly forgotten the fact that when it says consultation, that means under this government that we actually do consult, and we may do we consult, but we actually also put the details of the consultation. So even when I don't agree with some of the comments made by some other ministries, I'm still happy to have those comments, even though I don't agree with them, in the paper, because that's what a robust cabinet minister does. And obviously, when he was a cabinet minister, you didn't want to have anything. No, they didn't want to have any consultation that didn't agree with what they wanted. Well, he, he was very close to Miss Clark, as Ms. Hyde says. to debate these issues. He's had a lot of time in the select committee. This bill's been a year in the select committee. Mrs Gowdy has given a very good, uh, very good process through there, Mrs Gowdy. And in fact, the only person I hear complaining about Mrs Gowdy chairing the committee is Mr Cosgrove. And Mr Cosgrove clearly missed most of the committee. Otherwise, he might have known that the police are not the Ministry of Justice. They're also, they're different. They're different under this government. One's the police, one's the Ministry of Justice. And the Ministry of Justice, even though we didn't accept everything they said, we still put their comments in, because that's what you do when you're in Cabinet. And I know Mr Cosgrove's memory is not too good, but really perhaps he could just stick to the facts and stop trying to pull the wool over everyone's eyes in this House, or he's just got a bad memory. So, um, look. This part two of the bill deals with parole, Mr Chair, and frankly, when it comes to parole, it's a privilege, not a right, and it's about time recidivist violent offenders understood it. When they're out on parole, recidivist violent offenders who will not be rehabilitated, unfortunately, the public is at more at risk, and it's not because of the good work of corrections, it's because they choose to do that. And I know that the Labour Party doesn't like talking about victims or talking to victims because they pull on the emotional strings, but actually it's about time they got in touch with the real people in this country since they like to think that they do. So, Mr Chair, I do commend this part of the bill to the House. I think it is very realistic. It puts very simply about what needs to happen with some of the changes in parole. And um, I do understand that some people who have spent a lifetime defending the rights of criminals may find this unpalatable, but quite frankly, it's about time someone cared for victims, and I congratulate the ACT Party for bringing this to the party. I think it's a fantastic piece of legislation. I'm very proud to be uh, the minister in charge of it. Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Chair, 